we were able to negotiate on the town side uh, seven bargaining unit contracts in a single year. And that is going to provide us a stability going into the next two years. ARPA funding's in hand. We have approximately $8.2 million. Some of that we've spent, uh, some we've committed to uh, the athletic complex, and we have $5.2 million remaining uh, that is going to the Allen Avenue project. Public Works, you can, we're continuing to reinforce our efforts uh, on the 10-mile the river. And we have secured, and we're uh, very grateful for our uh, Congressman that was able to provide an additional $1.5 million in earmark funding for the town. We did receive probably one of our largest free cash certifications to date at $8 million. 3.9 of that have already been committed to approved capital projects. That left a balance of approximately $4.1 million. Of that, 1.2 in the free cash strategy that we did present in December, we earmarked $1.2 million for schools uh, and to support the, uh, the public schools with the feasibility. I did put uh, $1 million uh, over a year ago into the capital improvement stabilization uh, to hedge the bet from having to borrow or look for funds uh, when it came time to do if we were approved for a project. Well, we were, uh, and now we have the, the privilege of being able to say that we have cash on hand to be able to execute the feasibility study. As a matter of fact, the superintendent and I met today, uh, along with the business manager, uh, to talk about the, the necessary measure that needs to come before town council to ensure that that funding is set up. We did receive a credit rating bump to uh, AA positive. Previously, we were at AA. Uh, the importance of this bond rating for the town is going to become paramount in the future. It did come out in uh, Realtor.com as one of the top 10 communities for real estate in the nation. We also saw inflation uh, begin to creep in. Uh, we saw increases in every aspect of doing business and cost of service. Uh, it'll impact projects that are under construction now uh, in ways. So we saw that at the athletic complex as well as some of the original estimates that we had came back. They were good when they wrote them, uh, but after inflation and supply chain uh, demands hit, they continue to uh, increase the cost of those projects. You know, seven months ago, we stood in this very room and we talked about uh, a 40R development and the number one issue that came back uh, universally was traffic. We were able to stand up and say that this has been a problem all the time and we need to solve this. And we went out and funded and got the state through uh, our help from our elected officials, specifically uh, Adam Scanlon to come back and say, look, here's some funding. We got $5 million in a bonding authorization, and then we got $3.9 million in an earmark uh, or MassWorks grant uh, from the Commonwealth. So that'll cover some of the significant events that we've had so far in the year. And remember, we're only six months into the year. 